beauties. So I've been getting a lot of people asking me A, how to do maybe like a five or 10 minute face and B, especially for girls that have sort of this natural like great skin, beautiful features, kind of like Keisha here where you're really, really beautiful in person and then you feel like when you take a photo it doesn't translate perfectly. Maybe you feel dark under the eyes or washed out. I'm gonna give you like a five, 10 minute look that you can do every morning, every day, or just even if you feel like people are going to be snapping pictures, maybe at like a family barbecue where there's going to be a million photos, something like that, where you just want to kind of look pulled together. It's going to be something you can do yourself. And it's super, super easy. I'm going to basically make my own tint of moisturizer by mixing my moisturizer, which is just Cetaphil. I'm going to literally Gort foundation into the moisturizer and this is just her shaded foundation. So whatever foundation you wear, I'm gonna make basically a tint of moisturizer that matches her. And I'm gonna just very gently, super, super lightly, we're gonna like fake contour a little bit. So we're gonna like put it on the outside of her face and then we're just gonna run some uh, concealer to highlight. Very, very easily, but you see what a thin, thin coat of this you know, tin of moisturizer we're doing all over her with hands. So just kind of continue to blend it until you don't see any lines. Pretty easy, right? Just kind of takes care of any little discoloration that you might have that you might not see in person, but that you might see in photos. You can always take a sponge and just, you know, light, light, light. I mean, we're really, she hardly has anything on, so we're just tapping. Just gonna take her concealer and do like our similar trick, have her look up. Our, our favorite, our drag queen trick, but really lightly, just kind of our triangle shape. Very, very lightly, right? You can either use your fingers to blend this, you can use a sponge. I'm gonna use a sponge because I don't wanna stab her in the eye, but like when I do this with myself, I literally just use my ring fingers and press it in. But you see how we kind of have that sort of made up contour look, or not really, made up highlight look, I should say, without hardly doing anything. I mean, this is literally tint and moisturizer and concealer. She barely, she doesn't really look like she has makeup on, she just looks perfect, right? Now you guys notice I'm not going on her eyelids right now. When we're doing a, a makeup look with eyeshadow, going over the eyelids is important because you kind of hide your discoloration and the color that you're using goes on true. But the natural discoloration you have on your lids is actually great for a no makeup look because if she looks straight ahead, it almost kind of looks like she has maybe like a little light shadow versus her concealer on. So like fake makeup, right? We love that. I'm going to take a brow pencil and just very lightly, and you might not even have to do this, but you know, if you feel naked without your brows filled in or if you have some holes, you can just kind of go in and... We're not doing anything heavy, but just kind of filling in little sparse areas. That will help, like I said, in a photograph, especially, you know, your brows frame your face. So if you can, you know, if you have the time to kind of just enhance your shape a little bit, it will really do wonders for a photograph. Really, really quick. We're not being super precise. We're not giving her draggy brows. We're just kind of filling in the gaps. Turn to my little bit. So that was our sort of fake highlight look. We'll do like a fake contour look by using bronzer, whatever color bronzer you would usually use. Gonna use our little trick that I've taught you guys before about doing the three shape. Just take her, her regular bronzer color, cheekbone, hairline, jaw. This is like a one, two, three, and all of a sudden she looks lightly highlight, lightly contoured but not really even remotely made up. Just perfect and pretty. Uh, most women I know feel pretty naked without mascara, so this would be a great time to put on mascara. She's already got a little on, so you know that's that look. Uh, if you had a couple minutes, if you wanted to look a little more made up, you could just line inside your eye. Just take a pencil and have you look up. And just very quickly on your waterline. Just gives her eyes a pop. Um, if you feel like your eyes kind of get lost in photos, especially if you have fair hair. I know a lot of women feel 
that their eyes can kind of get lost in photos. I do as well, so I love eyeliner. It's pretty much my staple. And then you can pretty much just take any lip color you want. I mean, you can do a red, you can do a dark. If you want to just choose a neutral, I'm going to choose a neutral because we're going, like I said, for a really natural look. So I'm going to take like a sort of a pinky rose. Tap it all over. Have her tap shut. And just going to take like a little bit of a warm blush. I always like to do the blush after the lip on a natural look because sometimes if you're going to do something like a red lip or a dark lip, you might find you don't even need a blush. I'm going to have her smile. I'm going to just tap literally a little bit of pink. Take a sponge, tap it out, and voila. That is our no makeup, makeup, at least you look alive in a photo, natural girl look, and that's pretty much what I wear every day too. Achievable, right? And pretty.